Welcome back. We've registered Zotero. We have the connector for our browser. Now it's time to run the setup for the main Zotero program. We downloaded it and it's sitting down here at the bottom of Chrome. Double click the downloaded file. This may trigger any security software that you have. Be prepared to turn off Norton, McAfee, AVG, or whatever security app you're running. Click on Yes, you want this app to make changes on your device. It's perfectly safe. Now we get the setup wizard. Click Next and accept all the default settings. We do not want to change anything here. Choose Standard Installation. Let it decide where to put the file. Your button will read Install. Mine reads Upgrade because I already have it on my computer. Wait while it installs. Click the Finish button and it should automatically launch Zotero for the first time. When Zotero opens up, you will have nothing in either column. This is normal. On the left, I have folders. You will be making new folders as you do research. When I click on a folder on the left, the middle column shows all the resources that have been saved in that folder. This can include journal articles, books, web pages, blogs, etc. By looking at the different icons, I can tell what types of sources they are. This is a book. This is a journal article. This is a newspaper. Now we need to change some settings, so we're going to go in to Edit and then click on Preferences. The first thing we want to do is click the Sync button. You will have a box for your username and password. Enter the same username and password you use to register Zotero. Go ahead and put those in and click OK. Once you have those in, go to the top right of the screen and click on the green arrow. It should rotate and then stop. If it does that, it means your account is syncing to the cloud and all is well. If you get any error messages, you want to double check that you have put in the correct username and password. If it continues to not work, please contact the library so we can help you. Now, go back to Edit and Preferences. Click the icon for Cite. Certain citation styles are automatically included in the Zotero installation. If you are using MLA or APA or AMA, your style is already in this list. Here under Citation Options, we have a box to include the URLs of paper articles. Click this box so that your citations will include the permalink or stable URL if necessary. This makes life so much easier for you. Window users click on OK to save the changes. Mac users click on your red dot at the top left. Alright, now Zotero is set up. In the next video, you will learn how to create folders and how to use Zotero to capture information.